One is a fictional character first brought to the big screen in 1933. The other is an enormous reptile that once roamed the Earth long before man. King Kong the Movie was revived in 2005 by New Zealander Peter Jackson. It was a box office smash, making $562.3 million worldwide. Historians believe the giant gorilla the story was based on did actually exist, perhaps even when dinosaurs inhabited the globe. How do you think it would match up with one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs that ever lived, the T-Rex? King Kong vs. T-Rex. Who would win? King Kong. According to Jordan Charles Vogt Roberts, the director of the 2017 movie King Skull Island, King Kong is the eighth wonder of the world and measures 100 feet tall. That's taller than the official residence of the Pope. Located in the Vatican City, the Sistine Chapel could almost be considered a dwarf in comparison, measuring just 68 feet high. Size When likened to an alpha male adult chimpanzee, King Kong is positively giant. The chimpanzee is just 4 feet tall and a mere 91 kilograms at best. Estimates have the 2017 version of King Kong weighing the same as 15,750 chimpanzees, or more than 1,400 tons. Now that's one big gorilla. The truth behind the stories. The giant movie monster has appeared in various fictional-based movies since 1933. However, the mythical gorilla could have links to the Gigantopithecus, a massive ape whose fossilized remains were discovered in 1935 by anthropologist Ralph von Koenigswald. He identified two third molar teeth that he believed belonged to an animal. Over 1,000 more teeth were found in Lu Cheng, and numerous remains, including bones, have since been discovered in at least 16 sites. These apes are believed to have lived during the early to middle Pleistocene period, which lasted from about 2,580,000 to 11,700 years ago. They appear to have gone extinct around 300,000 years ago, so there's no chance they met up with the Tyrannosaurus rex dinosaur in a previous life. If they had, you can almost guarantee it would have been quite the showdown. Diet Like the Gigantopithecus, we can assume that King Kong was probably an herbivore. However, due to his size, it's difficult to imagine how many plants he would have had to consume to satisfy his supersized stomach. Fortunately, in the movie, Skull Island is a sanctuary for prehistoric life, and lording it over the dinosaurs and other giant beasts is Kong, who can outfight any creature on Earth. The island is also inhabited by giant mutant plants, enough to keep the demanding mammal from looking elsewhere for dinner options. Just imagine if he started eating other animals on the island, there'd be none left in a week. An average adult male gorilla eats approximately 50 pounds of food daily, or one-eighth of its body weight. So keeping a big body like King Kong's powered would require a massive 7,500 pounds of food each day in comparison. In human terms, that's about 6,000 heads of lettuce, 15,000 Big Macs, or 65,000 Pop-Tarts. The food budget in his household would be phenomenal. Unstoppable? So what could possibly end the life of the huge and mysterious Gigantopithecus? The closest thing to the mythical King Kong died out. However, its relatives still exist in Asian forests today. It doesn't really make sense. 
Experts from the Seckenberg Research Institute in Frankfurt believe the huge ape was related to orangutans, but may have lived on the ground, just like our friend the T-Rex, but for different reasons. Where the gorilla was able to search for plant life from the ground up, the king of the dinosaurs would chase its prey. The male Gigantopithecus is estimated to have measured up to 3 meters tall while standing on its hind legs, so it was nowhere near the height of King Kong. It also weighed just half a ton in comparison, but there are similarities in their lifestyles. The Gigantopithecus would have had little to fear, other than big cats like tigers and other apes. On the other hand, King Kong's biggest threat was human. He dwarfed every other animal on the planet, even the T-Rex. That is, unless there's a mysterious giant dinosaur hiding out there somewhere that we haven't heard of. I guess that's always a possibility. Even the most massive of apes would have been helpless against tool-using humans, including King Kong. But the reason the Gigantopithecus died out may not be quite as simple. So, if overhunting by early man wasn't responsible for the huge ape's extinction, what was? A weakness. Scientists believe their huge size and dietary preferences may have been their biggest downfall. I mean, it can't have been easy to live off plant life alone. And unlike their prehistoric predecessor, the T-Rex, they didn't branch out and switch to meat-eating, something I'm sure many animals were grateful for. Sudden fluctuations in climate might have also put greater pressure on the ape and its lifestyle. Whatever the reason for its extinction, the Gigantopithecus didn't do too badly. It thrived in the tropical forests of East and Southeast Asia, from India to Vietnam, through China, for between 6 and 9 million years. Its main methods of subsistence were limited to a certain type of habitat, and like the giant panda, it is believed to have lived off bamboo. Molars found showed signs of cavities and enamelware like those of other bamboo-eating animals. Bamboo is a nutrient-poor diet for any large mammal, particularly a giant ape. With tough leaves and stems, it's difficult to both eat and digest, meaning the giant ape would have had to feed more often and for longer periods. Unfortunately, their slow metabolic rate proved a potential killer in the unstable world they lived in. Their extinction is believed to have taken quite some time, so they must have been a hardy breed. It's little wonder, then, that one of the most famous movies of all time was based on this mighty ape. Strength. But just how tough was King Kong? It might be easier to compare him to Godzilla rather than an actual living ancestor. A fictional monster, Godzilla originated from a series of Japanese films of the same name. He first appeared in 1954 and became a worldwide pop culture icon. Dubbed the King of the Monsters, he is portrayed as an enormous, destructive, prehistoric sea monster, awakened and empowered by nuclear radiation. The monster has characteristics like an amphibious dinosaur, not unlike a T-Rex that swims. Described as a cross between a gorilla and a whale, Godzilla is significantly larger and stronger than King Kong. But that doesn't make him the tougher opponent. In a matchup between the two in 1962, King Kong measured 147 feet and Godzilla 164 feet. However, Kong came out on top. Not only was he physically stronger, he was also more agile, making him tougher for his slower opponent to hit. Kong's strength and agility were no match for the larger Godzilla, but it's possible a one-on-one -on -one with the land-dwelling T-Rex might have played out a little differently. Origins American aviator Marion Cooper had a fascination with gorillas at an early age. He was given a book that recorded the adventures of Paul Du Chai Lu in Africa and his various encounters with the natives and wildlife there. Years later, Du Chai Lu's depiction of a particular gorilla and a dream had him start working on a script for King Kong, a movie he helped produce and that was released in 1933. In Du Chai Lu's Explorations and Adventures in Equatorial Africa, written in 1861, a gorilla was described as invincible and the king of the African forest. 
Later in the book, the same gorilla was considered a hellish dream creature that was half man, half beast. It's no wonder Cooper later brought a similar character to the big screen. His initial thoughts were that the giant gorilla, later known as King Kong, was gonna meet up with a dinosaur-sized version of the Komodo dragon. Instead, he became a gigantic, semi-humanoid gorilla who was pitted against modern civilization. The dinosaur-gorilla dynamic was played out just over 20 years later when Toho Co. Limited, a Japanese film, theater production, and distribution company brought Godzilla to the people in 1954. An icon of cinema. King Kong was described by Cooper as a nightmarish gorilla monster with the strength of a hundred men, a girth like that of a steam boiler, and a nightmare head with bloodshot eyes and jagged teeth set under a thick mat of hair. After several false starts with how the beast was to look, Cooper settled on the fact that the gorilla must be the fiercest, most brutal, monstrous damned thing that has ever been seen. I don't know about you, but I think he got what he asked for. There weren't many movie monsters as scary as King Kong in the 1930s particularly of the animal variety. The Monster Walks, released in 1932, also depicted a large ape, but it wasn't nearly as frightening as King Kong. In comparison, you could almost say it was positively charming. Monster animals have appeared in many horror movies throughout the years, with the likes of Jaws, King Kong, and Jurassic Park among some of the most popular movies and subsequent sequels ever made. I mean, what could be scarier than an oversized animal that goes rogue? It's definitely the common theme. So why not have two of them going up against each other? It's been done before with great success. So let's get King Kong in the ring with a T-Rex. Do you think it would be a fair fight? An adult blue whale is the only modern animal that even comes close to matching King Kong's size. And they can measure up to 100 feet long. But we're not talking reality here, are we? We're simply suggesting the possibility of a boxing ring pairing between King Kong and the T-Rex. The idea is clearly fictional, but who's the odds-on favorite? T-Rex! The blue whale might be the only living animal of Kong's size, but there were some dinosaurs that walked the Earth millions of years ago that would have literally looked down on King Kong. Size. The Argentinosaurus, for example, belonged to a group known as sauropods. These long-necked plant eaters lived between 136 million to 66 million years ago, measured about 140 feet from nose to tail tip, and are believed to be the biggest land animal that ever lived. In comparison, the meat-eating Tyrannosaurus rex measured up to 40 feet fully grown. It may not have been as tall as the Argentinosaurus, but it is said to have exerted the strongest bite force among all terrestrial animals, making it a dangerous predator. Strength in 1905, the New York Times hailed the T-Rex as the most formidable fighting animal of which there is any record whatever. They described it as the king of all kings in the domain of animal life, and the absolute warlord of the Earth. This is serious praise, given it was impossible for the writer to have experienced the behavior of this man-eater of the jungle firsthand. And of this, we can be truly thankful. A veritable killing machine, the T-Rex is one of the best-known dinosaurs since the early 20th century. It is featured in film, advertising, postal stamps, and many other media. So, what animal, mythical or otherwise, would you put up against the king of all kings? A history of violence. Several T-Rex feature in the popular Jurassic Park series, where humans come face to face with the planet's most terrifying former inhabitants. The dinosaurs have been cloned in a disastrous attempt to create a unique theme park. Can you imagine that scenario playing out in real life? Wonder how popular it'd be. 
The T-Rex is obviously a fierce adversary, made very clear in the Jurassic Park films. So who would make an equally fierce opponent in a battle worth watching? Well, King Kong, of course. But before you imagine the two of them squaring off inside the boxing ring, it might be worth considering some of the T-Rex's traits compared to those of the monster gorilla. Attributes Once described as the last of the great reptiles and the king of them all, this carnivorous dinosaur has a reputation as being among the largest known land predators of its time. It was also the last known member of the Tyrannosaurids, or Tyrant Lizard, family. This species of dinosaur were almost always the largest predators in their respective ecosystems, placing them at the top of the food chain. Essentially, the T-Rex had no natural predators. This would have been a real bonus way back then, but there are some negatives when we consider a fight between the giant dinosaur and King Kong. The T-Rex would have never needed to exert any real power over its opponent, so maybe a rookie in the ring. In the fantasy world created by the five Jurassic Park films, we see humans coming face to face with our planet's most terrifying former inhabitants, but in mutant form. These super dinosaurs eventually escape the park they are held in and go on a rampage killing many humans in their path. King Kong, on the other hand, is brought down by a human. So here, the T-Rex has the upper hand. Humans are no match for this enormous reptile. Street Cred Considered unique among dinosaurs in its place in modern culture, the Tyrannosaurus rex is often the most popular dinosaur among people of all ages, all cultures, and all nationalities, according to paleontologist Robert Backer. But why is this so? From the beginning, it was embraced by the public, with the president of the American Museum of Natural History, Henry Fairfield Osborne, labeling it as the greatest hunter to have ever walked the Earth. Now, if this statement is accurate, the match between the T-Rex and King Kong could end with the giant gorilla's head on a platter. But is there any other evidence that this extinct dinosaur would make a formidable opponent? Much of what we know about the Tyrannosaurus Rex has been played out in films or in the pages of books. Some of it has been backed up by experts, but a lot is pure fiction made up to entertain the masses. So what can be believed about this reptilian monster that ruled the Earth millions of years ago? The terrifying data. Well, apparently, it had big feet. Two isolated fossilized footprints found in New Mexico in 1983 by an American geologist are believed to be those of the T-Rex. The prints were found in a vegetated wetland mudflat and measured 83 centimeters long and 71 centimeters across. Now that's one big foot when you consider an average human foot measures just over 29 centimeters for an adult male. The T-Rex's feet are over twice as long. The T-Rex has appeared in a great number of monster films, including the 1993 rendition of King Kong which featured a climactic battle between the giant ape and a Tyrannosaurus. This might give us some indication of how a real-life battle might play out, but Kong has grown significantly since then. In that movie, he measured just 18 meters, and in the 2017 rendition, Kong Skull Island, he was a whopping 104 meters. When Kong faced off against Godzilla in the 1962 movie King Kong vs. Godzilla, he was his tallest yet at 147 feet high. The T-Rex is a mere 40 feet in comparison. So now we've established there is a significant height difference between the pair. What next? Teeth. The teeth of the Tyrannosaurus Rex are definitely worth discussion. They had several different sizes, and some were closely packed. Others curved backwards and had tips likened to chisel-like blades. And then there were those described as lethal bananas. They were more widely spaced and also had reinforcing ridges. The largest tooth found is estimated to have been 30.5 centimeters long. 
Renowned for its strong jaw and obvious sharp teeth, the T-Rex could rip both the tissue and bone of its prey in a single bite. Its teeth were its biggest asset. Body Issues the dinosaur was awkwardly shaped. Its neck was exceptionally short given that it was supporting a massive head, and its forelimb was also very short with just two clawed fingers, plus what essentially represented the remnant of a third digit. Despite the T-Rex's forelimbs and fingers appearing next to useless, new findings suggest they may have been strong enough to slash prey at close quarters. If we can believe this finding, the dinosaur may have climbed on the victim's back and slashed at it, inflicting deep, possibly fatal gashes before devouring it. In many films, the Tyrannosaurus is depicted with an upright posture. However, the dinosaur is actually bent over as if trying to balance. In fact, if you look at pictures of the scaly-skinned relic, they're completely out of proportion. The pelvis is a very large structure, and the hind limbs are too. Both are capable of supporting the back end of the dinosaur, which includes a strong, heavy tail. One flick of that thing and any animal within close proximity would be sent flying in the air. An imposing figure, the Tyrannosaurus is believed to have lived in forests, near rivers, and in areas that were open and full of prey. In comparison, gorillas primarily inhabit tropical forest habitats. Both the extinct dinosaurs and the gorilla prefer mild weather conditions, so there's a possibility that had they lived in the same time period, they may have met. Wouldn't that have made for an interesting introduction? Diet the T-Rex was a big meat eater, a scavenger that ate animals that were already dead. They also killed live prey. Although large, gorillas on the other hand are primarily herbivores. Sticking to a mainly vegetarian diet, they feed on stems, bamboo shoots, fruits, and occasionally branching out to eat termites and ants, breaking open termite nests to eat the larva. Their dietary requirements alone are telling. One is a vicious, meat-eating machine, while the others content to dine on the plant life around it. Almost everything about the T-Rex indicates the enormous power of one of the largest theropod dinosaurs to ever exist. But could it get the upper hand over King Kong? Measuring up to 42 feet long and weighing anywhere up to 6 tons, an adult dinosaur could lift up to 200 kilograms. It certainly wouldn't be an animal you'd want to mess with. However, nor would King Kong. The Fight to End All Fights with so many versions of Kong depicted on the big screen, measuring anywhere from just 18 feet in the 1933 movie to 147 feet in the matchup with Godzilla, you'd have to hope that the match was a fair one. So, say both the T-Rex and the giant gorilla are the same height, who then would take out the win? I've based my decision on strength, agility, and research, similar to how a referee in the boxing ring might. I've also used the Gigantopithecus as a comparison to King Kong. Estimates had them able to lift a weight of just over 1,800 kilograms, as opposed to the T-Rex's 200 kilograms. The T-Rex was considered a vicious, bloodthirsty monster, but if push came to shove, the gorilla or mighty ape wouldn't back down either. I think in a purely fictional battle, one that plays out in your head, King Kong would win. Am I right? Who do you think would win? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!